call me Naura. I'm from SMNW3 Bangun Tapan, grade 7. Now, I want to tell you guys about some Indonesian fairy tale that name is Tibun Mas. Bok Sirni. A widow lived in Dadapan village. Suddenly fell, she was too old. She realized that she couldn't harvest crops plant in her field. She was not strong enough also to seek for Bible to turn on her earthen soul. Dear God, the most merciful, give me some strength. The older I am, the more slug as I am. Now, I'm not strong enough to carry a bunch of food from the forest. But Sirni always said each time she came home. She always lamented her awful life since her husband died. She did not marry with another man. So, she was all alone without a husband or children. But one night, a figure as big as a giant emerged. While she was busy lamenting and thinking about her bad luck in front of her house. His name was Puto Ijo. Puto Ijo gave a cucumber seed to Botsuni. He said that he can complete Botsuni's wish. But Botsuni must plant the cucumber seeds given by Puto Ijo. The next morning, Botsuni planted the cucumber seeds given by Puto Ijo. And magically, those seeds grown into a large cucumber plant with many fruits. Bosini then took the biggest golden cucumber. Bosini sliced the cucumber carefully and magically a beautiful golden baby was lying inside. Because her golden color, Bosini named the baby Timun Mas or the golden cucumber. In short, Timun Mas grew up into a beautiful little girl. She had a golden heart and very cheerful. But each day, Boss Yerni was getting worried if one day Puto Ijo came and took away the mask from her to be eaten. Then came a holy man named Kijogawono. He gave appetizers and a small white package filled with cucumber seeds, nettle, salt, and shrimp paste. Kijogawono said to Boss Yerni, if Puto Ijo came and took away the mask from her to be eaten, Timun Mas should run toward the hill and she must fill the contents of the white package, one by one. But Sunil then told the message to Timun Mas. The girl had already known that she wasn't Puto Ijo's daughter. But Sunil said that she would always protect Timun Mas from Puto Ijo, no matter what. And came the time when Puto Ijo was to take and to eat Timun Mas. Ho 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 ho! Where are you Timun Mas? I'm going to eat you! Don't run! The giant said while cursing her. Timun Mas ran over the top of the hill. While running she spread all of the stuff inside the package. She spread cucumber seeds, nettle, salt, and shrimp paste behind her, and it made Puto Ijo drown and die. The message from this fairy tale is that greed 